Welcome back to In Photoshop 1. In this tutorial, I will be showing you basic 3D layer and animation skills using text. For my project, I will be making my new intro that you've just seen. Start by creating a new project and make sure that you set the file to film and video, then choose your size. Because we are working in 3D, we also want to make sure that we are put in RBG color mode. Simply begin by adding your text. After I am done repositioning and resizing, I will go to the top menu and click 3D Repose Text Layer. As always, you will need to rasterize the layer. A pop-up window will appear with more options. From here, you can adjust the features of your 3D text. I will adjust the scale of my extrusion and change the material of my sides. Be sure to go to the bottom of the window and select 3D Access, Ground Plate, and 3D Light. Feel free to play around with these adjustments like the shape presets. When ready, click OK. Now to start animating my 3D text. I will go to the top menu again and select Window Animation. Below your animation window will pop up. We will also need control over the placement of our 3D object. Again, I will go Top Menu Window and this time select 3D. First, I will position my text where I want my animation to start. To position my text, I will use the 3D Move tool in my 3D window. Click and hold this tool to change from pan, slide, rotate, and etc. When I have found the position I would like to begin my animation at, I will go to my animation window. Drop down the menu from your 3D layer in your animation window if it does not already appear drop down as so. Also, set your marker to your beginning if it is not already there. Because I have only adjusted the placement of my 3D object, that is the only information I need to record. I will go to the line labeled 3D Object Position and insert a keyframe. I will then let the animation play for a bit or move my marker forward until I feel it necessary to add another keyframe. Before doing so, I will position my 3D text to where I wish it to be at that exact time. I will continue to develop my animation by placing keyframes throughout my animation timeline. If I want to change the position of my camera, I will do that by again going to my 3D window. The position of your camera can be recorded in your animation with keyframes, just as you did to record the position of your 3D text. Record the camera position in the line 3D camera position on your animation timeline. Most of this is self-explanatory. To edit a keyframe, click and highlight it and change what you want in your animation. You can also delete these keyframes by clicking them, then hitting the delete button at the bottom of your animation window. Once you are satisfied with your animation, go to the pop menu in the top right corner of your animation window. Select end of work area and start of work area. To finalize and save, simply go file, export, render video. Name your file and select the file type, then save. You should now be able to open and play your animation. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to like this video, check out my other videos, and subscribe.